What is the LCM of x minus 2, 2x plus 1, and 2x squared minus 3x minus 2? I, I don't know. But, guys, let me give you a tip. Let me give you a tip. If these were all three separate numbers, like 3, 4, and 5, right? That's a big, like, if you had 3, 4, and 5, what the LCD of 3, 4, and 5 is 3, 4, 12. That's, I don't even know what the, huh? No, it's even going to be bigger. It's like 60, at least I know works, right? I don't even know if that's the LCD, but I know 60 works, right? So, but again, you guys can see like that product, like it's big. If you have three different numbers that they don't share anything, all three numbers don't share anything, then that number is going to be really big. So I would highly doubt that the LCD of these denominators is the product of all three. Notice this is a trinomial. This can be factored down. I would, probably rec I would probably guarantee that every single problem that you are going to do, one of these, if not always, these two are the factors. Now, could we just factor these? Yeah, we could. right? But let's just use a little smart. We don't like factoring anyways, right? So why don't we just, we know that it's going to have to be factored down to that. Why don't we just choose those and make sure it works? 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. When I multiply that out, does that give me that? It works. That is the factored form of those two denominators. So therefore, when I'm trying to find the LCM or the LCD, it's actually not that like, difficult. It's actually right in front of our eyes. Do you guys see how this problem has not become a difficult problem yet? Because all you need to do is factor this, and the factors are right in front of you. Now, is that always going to be the case? No. Is it going to be the case most often? Yes, right? And because if not, the problem is going to get very difficult very quickly. Okay? So just be, again, don't use that as a rule, but just use that as something to look for. Okay, all right, you want to just let me finish the problem. Okay? Now let's multiply everything by the LCD. Everything. Does this divide into that? Of course, it's itself, right? Of course, it divides into itself. Two, right? Because two is left over. Does x minus two divide into that? Of course, it divides into that two x plus time, two x plus one time. Oh yeah, there is that x right there, top right, times x. Thank you. And then over here, the 2x plus 1 divides in. We're leaving with an x times x minus 2. Yes? So I looked at all the denominators. And before I find the LCD, I want to factor this down. So I had to factor this. Now, most, most students should be able to factor this rather quickly. But my tip was, most problems that you will encounter, if you have to factor it, one of the one or both of the factors are, are also a denominator. And that's what I did. I just guessed and checked. I said, hey, why don't I assume that these are the factors of that? And it ended up working. And since they all share, since they have the share, they all did not like, it's in there. That was the LCD. OK? And then now I just distribute the denominator. So 2x squared plus x plus x squared minus 2x. And therefore, this gives me a 3x squared minus x. Okay, And um, we'll talk about the excluded values next class period Run that. I mean, it's the same thing. There's just a little bit uh, one more step that we could do with the way that I teach. It's easier to do it after we've gone through another lesson.